Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Doing well, John. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Uh, nice to talk to you again. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry because you're probably you, you probably uh, gone through three hours of, of answering the same question over and over again, uh, based on what happened at the uh, the Oscars last night. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll go into the short and sweet of it. I mean, I I did not watch the ceremony. Uh, the only notable thing that uh, came out of it, I found out through my social media feed last night. So uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts, man. I mean, I, I, I know you already kind of posted on Facebook about what you thought about uh, Will Smith uh, physically assaulting Chris Rock on stage. Uh, and then, you know, minutes later, winning winning Best Actor as if nothing had happened. Uh, so, yeah, please, if you can, just tell me about your thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, like most people that were watching live, I was very uh, surprised and shocked in the moment. You First of all, you everybody was confused and thought that it was scripted. We didn't know if it was real. There are some people still speculating that it was fake. It was not fake. It actually happened, and anyone that can come across the uncensored video online will see how real it was and how uncomfortable and uh, for Chris Rock in the moment. Now, there's no excusing the, 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 the joke that, that Chris Rock made. Did he know, did he not know that Jada Pinkett Smith suffers from a medical condition, alopecia, but it's still not okay to rise to the level of violence, no matter the verbal offense. But ultimately, it's a really scandalous, disgraceful, and um, unsuitable behavior for anyone at the Oscars to get up and do what Will Smith did, and he's a huge A-list role model. So I, it's very hard for me to wrap my head around it. I love Will Smith. I voted for him. I'm so happy that he won for King Richard. I love his whole career. You know, I revere him. I revere the awards and, and the industry. So it's a very difficult thing to sit with and to, to kind of wrap our heads around that it happened. But um, Chris Rock has chosen not to press charges for LAPD. He still has time to do so if he changes his mind. But I don't know that he needs to. I think that the court of public opinion here with Will Smith uh, will weigh out in the days and the weeks when we – see how this is forever attached to his reputation and his legacy. Um, you know, there are people that are defending the behavior and that, you know, maybe it was okay and the right thing to do to stand up for your spouse that way. And so, you know, we'll see how it all plays out. He's got plenty of time to apologize to Chris if he wants to. If he chooses not to, that's okay, too. It's up to him, you know. Um, but it will be very fascinating to see how it continues to play out in real time. Now, what did you make? Because, honestly, when I saw his best actor speech, you know, winning for King Richard. I haven't seen this the movie, um, and I, I do want to see it. But I felt like I was in the Twilight Zone when I saw that speech because it literally looked like what happened minutes before it never happened. I mean, you know, Will Smith wins, and everybody's cheering and standing up for him, praising him. Uh, of course, you had all that stuff about Denzel Washington, Bradley Cooper, Tyler Perry consoling him during a commercial break. I mean, what what do you make of that? Because, I don't know, man, I, I guess the reception from the crowd, it kind of indicated that, oh, yeah, maybe what he did was wrong, but, you know, he, he was, you know, he was in a, a not a great state of mind. He's still a good guy. I mean, I, I don't know. And, and also uh, Will's rambling speech where he was going on one of his uh, usual uh, very wordy ego trips about, you know, feeling like he needs to be a vessel and he wants to show love and, Oh, God, kind of yeah. That, yeah, he's kind of implying that, like, you know, to, to show love, sometimes you have to be violent. I mean, what what did you make of all that? Well, yeah, no, it, 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 it's a lot, and you're right. I think it's very strange that, that the show didn't deal with it, but they didn't know how to deal with it. I guess in the moment, the Academy backstage themselves didn't know what to believe or make of it. Uh, we do know, though, that, John, if that had been you that got up on the stage, that had, like, rushed the Oscar stage and slapped uh, a presenter live on the broadcast and then started to swear, like, you would have probably been ex escorted out. Um, yeah. I would have probably, you know, or something would have happened, you know, that, that would have been addressed immediately, cut to commercial, who knows. But, but so it was very strange that it wasn't addressed. And then, you know, listen, Will deserved to win for his performance in King Richard. I love that he won that Academy Award. He deserved to win for that performance, uh, for, for many performances in his career. He's outstanding. But, I, yeah, that, that, that speech was weird. And, and while he apologized in the moment to the Academy, he didn't apologize to Chris. And that's difficult for me as a survivor of uh, violence myself in, in childhood, in adulthood even. And, and I find that very, very difficult to sit with. And, and, and it's, 
it's uncomfortable. And, and the whole thing, it sounded like he was justifying his actions through love. And that also is discordant oh. for me. So I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, what I, just from the physical assault to uh, Will trying to explain himself and excuse himself afterwards, for me, it was just textbook toxic masculinity. I, I was very uncomfortable mm. with it. And funny enough, I mean, I've been on a uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and, and the Fresh Prince music trip, and I've been reading uh, Will Smith's autobiography, and now it's very hard mm. to go back to that because it's just, I, I cannot get that very traumatizing image out of my head of him just going up on stage and physically assaulting Chris Rock. Um, to those people who say, like, oh, hey, you know, yeah, he's a real man for, you know, defending his wife, Jada, did you think that Jada needed defending? Because when I, when I hear, like, oh, you know, you defended, you stood up for your wife, it implies that, like, you know, Chris, like, actually, like, physically went after Jada and Will had to step in. And, you know, part, totally. of, me if, you know, part of me thinks, like, oh, you know, Jada's a, a grown woman. I mean, I think she could speak up for herself, you know? John, I think what you're saying is so huge right here, because especially if we're going to be any, I mean, in so much as we can as men be feminists, I think that, yes, if she, you know, she is, she's a, she is in all of her power, could have defended herself. She herself could have gone up to the mic and shamed him publicly and taken over the show and rushed to the stage and said, you know what, what you just said was really offensive. I have a medical condition that was in really poor taste. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you know what I mean? So she didn't, you know, women don't necessarily, don't need a man to fight their battles for them. They are fully capable on their own. We all, on, in our own power, have the right to stand up for ourselves. And I see Jada as a very strong woman. So, it, But it's complicated. We don't know what's going on with, um, with Will's state of mind at the time. We don't know what kind of duress he may have been under. We don't know how offended he might have been by the joke earlier in the show about his open marriage. Uh, he, he made some allusion to the fact that just because they're famous, they have to kind of take it in stride, and they do. And he, and he basically is knowingly admitting, saying, I've learned how to react and how to take these things in stride as they come, but I've had enough in this moment, so that's why I acted that way. I mean, he doubled down and he tried to give excuses for it. I don't accept any of that, but that's my opinion. I know that other people do accept it. So it's a complicated issue that has two sides, apparently, and the, the discussion will continue. And uh, in the limited time I have with you left, Ryan, uh, I know it's hard to believe that there was anything else happening at the Oscars, but uh, mm. there was. And uh, I, I wonder if you can just kind of, uh, you know, quickly share some highlights that you found throughout the rest of the ceremony in terms of the, the hosting that the, that the three uh, ladies did, the, you know, Amy Schumer, Regina Hall, um, and, and the other, uh, Wanda Sykes, uh, and also just, mm. uh, you know, a, a, a look back at the, at the winners. I loved the trio hosts. I wanted more of them. There was not a bad note among them. Together they were fabulous. On their own they were fabulous. Perfect. They should. If the Academy is smart, they'll bring them all back next year if they want to come back. Um, I loved also, before we talk about the awards, Like I love the fashion. You know, Normally we have some really disgusting looks that we can say, oh, the worst dress, and we can make fun of people. I thought everybody really looked great last night. Um, and then also as far as the awards go, I love seeing Coda win Best Picture. It was a bit of a surprise being such a feel-good, uh, crowd-pleasing movie, win in that category. It's extremely rare. I love Jessica Chastain having the opportunity to honor a woman, Tammy Faye Baker, who did not receive the respect that she so richly deserved while she was alive. So kudos to Jessica Chastain for her passion project and winning last night. Um, and Ariana DeBose, too, as the first queer person of color to win for West Side Story. I wish West Side Story had gotten more love at the box office and all awards season, but I was very proud of Ariana. Troy for winning for CODA, also historic, the first deaf actor to win. And, and circle back, let's just give it to Will. Um, his performance in King Richard was outstanding. So that is, uh, we're going to have to sit with that alongside his bad behavior last night. Well, always a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, film critic Ryan Jay right here on the show with us. Uh, talking about uh, this year's quite eventful Oscars. Oddly enough, you know, it was another year where we thought, oh, the Oscars are going to be boring. And then it clearly was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so true. Uh, yeah, right, so I'll, true. I'll look forward to the chat, and, and hopefully we can talk next time about uh, another kind of eventful Oscars, maybe somewhat more positive. <laughs> I look forward to it, John. Thank you so much. All righty. Take care, man. You too.